Hi, welcome to today's lesson. In this class, we'll be learning two sounds. The first one is the short sound, while the other one will be the long, and the exact long of that short. So, the short sound, it sounds O. Oh. And the long sound, it sounds O. Oh. Both sounds are vowel sounds. Now, watch the placements the position of the mouth and lips so you can get the sound appropriately. O, oh, like this, and from this shape, O, oh, your jaw comes closer to your upper part, to the upper part of your mouth to give O, oh, O, oh, short, O, oh, long. That's it about the two sounds. So now let's talk about um, the spelling variants of those sounds. Spelling variance means the letter or letters that spells a sound in, a word, in words. So spelling variance of O, oh, it's often realized in words from O and some words from A, words like um, what, want, was, sausage. Now the long sound which is O oh, is realized in words from O R oftenly and some words O U R, O R E, and A in some words, in other words, A L. Words in A like water, A L, words like wall, tall, hole, and all. So now we'll have some, now that you know both sounds and how to sound it, I think it's better for you to exercise it so you can know how much you've um, known about both sounds. So these words now, I want you to practice with them. Pronounce this one and pronounce its Roman numeral afterwards before you move to the next word. So pronounce these words now and let's see the differences, how you can spot them and clarify them in your pronunciation. Now pronounce. Thank you. Now listen to my own pronunciation and compare. Okay, I think for my figure one we have pop. Number one rather, excuse me. Number one we have pop. For my figure one we have pulled. Number two, cop. For my figure two, cold. Number three, shot. For my figure three, short. Number four, bottle. From my figure four, board. Number five, not. From my figure five, node. Now, from my own pronunciation, aside from the sound, what else did you notice? I pronounce some words without sound and the T in those words. That is called glottal stop. When you glottalize a word where you have the T and you replace the T was with the sound of um, with the sound of sudden pause at your glottis here, your um, voice box here. That oh, uh, oh, uh, like when you're talking all of a sudden and then you just squeeze your voice box with it, oh, uh, oh, uh, that sound you made is the sound of glottal stop. So it's used to replace um, sound of T in some words, not all words, some words. Most um, awfully in monosyllabic words, that means words with one syllable. One syllable means when you say a word and you make just one sound, like back, mm, mm, sack, mm, that's one syllable. So monosyllabic words with T at the end, you can glottalize them. Okay, so that, that was what I did with those words there. Now, for better comprehension and to of the two sounds, let's contrast with these sentences. I take these sentences on the screen now. Thanks a lot for the attempt. Now, listen to my own reading, and you can later read and imitate me afterwards. So the title of the reading is Mr. Obi Wants a Drink. 
Darling, I need something to drink. But there is no drink in the fridge. There is something here. I poured some pot from the jar into the pot. No, this pot is not meant for pot. There was no jar, so I used the pot instead. Then, make sure you finish the pot in that pot. So that's about this that will be wants in the dream. I feel like I want a drink too. What about you? Don't you feel like you want a drink? Okay, don't mind about that. So that's how to read and to compare the two sounds. Note, when you play back this video, you realize I glottalize some words and also I licked in a place when I said jar and the next one after jar was intel. So jar intel. Jar retail. You can link the R from the jar to the next word. If the next word is starting with a vowel. Thanks ever so much for being in this class. And I'll see you in the next class. You can read more of this video, play about and practice, practice, practice.